Stop jumping on me. Ah, oh, why are you doing that? Having a bad dog day? Rex, come back here. From police dogs to pet dogs, from potty training to pet peeves, number one best-selling author and 30-year canine trainer Andy Falco knows how to get to the meat of what's eating your dog. This is Falco Canine Dog Talk, the show that helps you and your dog create a relationship of love and respect. What a good boy. Good heel, Rex. I love you, Rex. And now here's your host, Andy Falco. Hello and welcome to another episode of Falco Canine Academy's Train the Dog Trainer podcast uh, along with Falco Canine Dog Talk and um, uh, I've been doing these things for a number of years and uh, really enjoy um, uh, the process of, of putting these shows together as I mentioned in my uh, last episode that that teaching is so powerful in your personal learning that every time you uh, have the opportunity to teach somebody or teach a group um, uh, you know, I would just say, don't hesitate from doing it, even in the beginning. And it's hard. I understand it's hard to get out there and, uh, and you're so vulnerable being out there, putting out your opinions, uh, just waiting for that one person to raise their hand and disagree with you. Um, and it's, uh, it can be intimidating, but I'm telling you that, um, even putting these podcasts together that to talk about, uh, what it is, I think that, um, I found important as a, uh, as, um, a newbie, to the dog training world and then eventually running a business and then got getting bigger and bigger and having new problems because you have bigger problems because you have more stuff that you have to do and uh it gets crazy but uh i know that every opportunity i've had uh, to teach i've i've grown from and learned something new and so uh the, on this episode i want to make sure and address uh have you address uh your strengths and weaknesses and really understand you may just simply back to our journal again make two columns on one column put strength the other column make put weakness and begin to list them and and know yourself uh both as just simply um, a dog trainer, knowing your strengths and weaknesses in regard to, you know, doing that. Am I stronger at teaching people? Am I stronger at teaching dogs? Uh, if you want to narrow down even your strengths with just say, uh, in, in training dogs, I know how to use a, uh, a choke chain, uh, but I don't know that much about click and treat or, uh, my strength is, um, uh, general obedience, but my weakness is problem solving um, critical uh, issues and problems with dogs. Uh, so uh, strengths and weaknesses. Find out what those things are and where you're at exactly. And then you'll uh, uh, go to your strengths and weaknesses in regard to running a business. Because at some point, you're going to be charging money. You're going to be cashing people's checks. You're going to be spending money on advertisement, creating a logo, uh, getting help where you need help um, like with accounting and that kind of thing. Because you're going to determine in your in your strengths and weaknesses at, the, at this stage on what those are. I'm, are you a good accountant? <laughs> is that something you even want to be doing? So you may put that as a as a weakness, uh, and your strength is uh, delegation. That would be awesome if you have a good, uh, strong uh, ability to delegate. Uh, this that that alone is going to serve you well. Uh, that that's probably one of my my weaknesses is that I, I feel like I want to do everything myself and I can get it done faster if I just do it myself. Uh, and uh, I'm not good at delegating, so that would be my weakness. So uh, and then what's helped me is hiring an assistant who has a <laughs> has a grasp on telling me, uh, you know, you don't need to be doing that. I'll take this, or we'll find somebody else to do that. And knowing whether it's in our budget. So um, I need an assistant uh, for my weaknesses uh, not related to dog training. So same thing. Just get your uh, your uh, journal out, draw a line down the center, and put your strength and weakness in regard to business. Maybe you can put a header on it. You know, it says business. And um, maybe yours is uh, your strength is making phone calls, returning phone calls, uh, emails, um, questionnaires that if you were at an event you had somebody that left their name uh, and phone number and a question about how your services could help them whatever that may, may be uh, responding to uh, inquiries into your business you need somebody that has a strength in that um, like I said accounting is an important one um, uh, project management um, uh, creative in regard to uh, marketing uh, uh, how about um, graphic design how about uh, writing copy for advertisement, writing copy for uh, autoresponders and emails, um, 
your strength uh, is um, doing audio podcast, and a weakness may be video podcast or video um, uh, stories on Facebook or Snap or one of those other uh, social media things that we're going to be talking about. Uh, so these are all things you need to consider. There is a a lot. And you may want to, you know, interview or go if you have a, a family member who's a business owner or a friend who's a business owner, just saying, what are all the things that you realize you needed to know once you started a business? And uh, and some of those things may, you know, uh, legal aspects, uh, legal papers, um, the legalities on whether you need a corporation or uh, or not a sole proprietorship, um, all those, all of these things. Um, uh, yeah, gosh, uh, purchases, um, uh, vendor location, employee issues. Uh, I, 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 if I thought long enough, I'd come up with a whole bunch of them. <laughs> and so you're going to uh, need uh, to do that strength and weaknesses. And so the last bit on this um, is uh, is uh, is really. Uh, finding a mentor, I think, and, and the biggest thing, or, or somebody that knows you well enough that they can uh, maybe be questioned or, or asked, you know, what do you think my strength and weakness are? It's, I, I hesitated in, in, in coming up with this one because, you know, sometimes we'll go to our family and our family doesn't want to hurt us, so they don't tell us the truth and we tell us things that we want to hear as opposed to things we need to hear. Um, sometimes they don't believe in what it is you're doing. So they don't think that you should be running your own business. So they may say, uh, well, your weakness is running a business and blah, blah, blah. And so to detour you from being hurt, right? So there's uh, uh, some difficulty and and there may be some aspects in in regard to friends too, but you're going to have to find somebody that you trust to bounce things off of that understands, you know, what it is that you really truly need to know and uh, what you uh, will, will grow from and not have that that issue of they they love you so much that they're trying to protect you <laughs> issue uh and uh again and maybe another mentor or maybe the same person uh that will that you guys can work together bounce uh ideas off of maybe they they're starting a, a new business so finding somebody maybe uh in the community that um can t- team up to uh, create a mini mastermind that you can again bounce things off of. Uh, SBA uh, has a, a program called Score. All you need to do is um, um, do a search on Google for your local Score office. It's run by the SBA, and you can find a mentor in there. And most of their services are for free. And you can get counseling, business counseling, and uh, and help on all kinds of issues in regard to businesses. So don't forget to look that one up. But uh, uh, and that that would be a good place to take your strengths and weaknesses to your list because that's one of the things they had me do and I brought it back and then we began to um, kind of put a, a plan together as to what I would what help I would be you know hiring uh, first what was mandatory to hire first and to and then those that were uh, 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 you know you could wait on that you didn't have to hire right away and uh, and so I think score is a great um, resource once you have your list of your strengths and weaknesses and getting somebody to bounce some stuff off of. All right, so that's it for this particular podcast. So get busy, uh, draw that line in, uh, down the middle of your journal page and write strengths, weaknesses, and get to writing. All right, that's it for today, and I will see you at the next one. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to Falco K9 Dog Talk, the show that helps you and your dog create a relationship of love and respect. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our web address at www.falcocanineacademy.com and like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Falco K9 Academy. Follow us on twitter.com slash Falco K9 Academy and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Falco 143. And remember, if you've got questions for Andy, call the K9 line at 714-798-9961. That's 714-798-9961. This is a production of Falco Enterprises Incorporated. All rights reserved.